And welcome back. This is Kotel for another World Rights event. I hope you all had a good weekend. It is Sunday, so that means it's Historical Rules event time, HRE. Uh, this time we're looking at Server 2. We did Server 1 last time, so just to keep it even. And right now for the first map, we have a Hooker's Push. Uh, current server pop is 178. Um, as implied, they uh, did have to split into two servers. Um, one day we'll get 400. One day we'll get 400 man servers, but it is not this day. For this day, we have 88 soldiers on the CSA side on the defense versus 90 on the Union attacking side. Let's take a look at this Union team. We have the first U.S. sharpshooters here under Captain Carlson. We've got HL here under First Lieutenant Gene. We've got 2 Corps under Captain Dragorn. We have 9th Corps here under... Is Dragon commanding? I hope he's commanding. If not, it'll be good too. All right, then we got Fourth New Jersey here under Colonel Joe, and then we've got two USC here under Lieutenant Sluggy. All right, let's take a look. Looks like we have a little bit of Artie here. Let's see who we got. We have Snapperkins with two guns. All right, now let's check out the CSA team. Who do we have here? We have six Alabama here under Colonel Jacken. We've got the ANV under Colonel Killer. We've got 13th Georgia under Major Cawthon. And we have HD here under Cloud. Looks like we got several already positioned, so we'll kind of swing around this way. All right, so we have one gun here under Colonel Angle. Looking forward to seeing him in action. Let's see, we also have a gun over here. And it is under Massarn Eagle from the 13th Georgia. Is there another gun? Yes, there is. One more gun here. And it is manned by the ANV here, Captain Exorf. All right. I think we are good to go. We are live at 40. And no bayonets. I'm not sure what they're doing on the sprinting rule on this map. I, I'm not sure if they, uh, I missed the, uh, cohort part of that, so I'm not sure if they, uh, they're allowing sprinting. But either way, it is live at 40 and no bayonets until 30. Uh, a little bit of water. All right. Now, for anybody looking for an event on Sundays at, um, this would be 7 p.m. GMT or 1 p.m. I'm sorry, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I highly recommend checking out HRE. Um, we're getting close now to 500 players here. Uh, so, I, well, we have about a little bit over, I think they were at 410 uh, for the planning session. Uh, so we are live, but they got a little ways to go here. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking your unit, you're looking for a Sunday event, uh, afternoon for NA time or evening time for the EU, or super early morning for anybody in the Oceania time, uh, check out the HRE. I will leave a link in the description to it. In addition, in the description, you will find links to these units' Discord. If you are looking to join up, if you're new or veteran player looking for a unit, and you see any of these guys here, you're like, man, they got some style. They got some. They got something going on. I want to be a part of it. Well, you can be. Just uh, join up with them and see what it's all about. And as we move out here, let me see if they are... They'll probably be moving at the double quick. I wouldn't... Yeah, there's no point in really sprinting. So they have a little ways to go before they get up there. Let's see. Who is admining today? It is Major Rollo from the 13th Georgia is admining today. So thank him for his uh, assistance in that. Making sure everything is copacetic. Let's take a look. So, CSA has now gotten their defense set, so we can get a little feel for how they're thinking. So they've left 13th Georgia here, along with A and V, guarding this uh, center position here. Then they have one unit on the far right here, which is Cloud and the HD on these rocks. And then another element here, Colonel Jackin, has put the 6AL over here. Looks like JD's with them as well. Oh, I wasn't tracking JD plane. I, I apologize. I missed you guys. Um, so that is how they are set up. But the Union appears to look to bypass all of them. They might be going for a full play to the right there. And, ooh, Artie is taking some shots here. 
It missed, but that... Oh, Eddie's in command of 2 USC. All right, I thought it was Sluggy, but Eddie's actually in command of 2 USC. Um, that was a pretty damn good shot. It missed, but... That was not a bad arty shot. I don't know who, who shot that. Let's see if we can get some ammo. Get some pictures here. Who's, who's shooting? Okay, A and V is getting that gun forward here, but they don't have a lot of infantry support behind them. All right, let's see. What gun is this? The 13th Georgia gun. Send it. Send let's it. see how they do. Uh, a little bit to the left, but not a bad distance shot. So far, Eddie is uh, still streaming forward here. On the far right, he's got Gene in support. Then we've got 1st U.S. Sharpshooters, along with 9th Corps and 2 Corps, advancing into the center position. It looks like they're going to bypass the CSA right union left here. And we will see what that does to the CSA defense. And first out the hole here is 2 USC, Mr. Eddie, the Cav out front. A and V is back here waiting for them, oh, although, along okay, with 13th so, Georgia. They are there. still scouting. Let's check out Union already. Let's see what they're thinking about doing. What are they doing over here? Going around it. Yeah, I can't see shit from back uh, from up there, dude. It's see, tough. You got to kind of, you know, uh, shoot start. from. Uh, unless you got comms, with there's no steam chat in this game. Another already shot coming in. Where was that one? I might have missed that one. All right, now we're starting to get people in line here. Oh, Targray's in here too. SR is also joining us. I missed them as well. I apologize, Targray. And the first U.S. is going to set up a defensive line here, along with two core. Now let's see what's going on over here. We got HL online, and we've got two USC Fourth New Jersey online. Volume. Maybe. Dude, this is guy right the guy right line that's right to the ridge instead of me. They're not gone, fucking whoever. high enough, mate. They're nearly that's fucking behind there. That's an officer at the moment. All we can see is their flag. So this map is already challenging due to the time. And it looks like uh, the CSA is taking some more here. All right, Carlson is now going to move over to this, this left side here, but he might soon find himself in a pretty heavy fight. Here is oh, Cloud with the a HD. Oh, this is a sharpshooter unit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I see their big infantry mass far left. Oh. Light him up, light him up, light him up, take cover, take cover, take cover. Why are you standing there? What the fuck? Take cover, take cover. And it looks like Carlson with his sharpshooters have gotten a couple good shots off onto Cloud here. Has there been any movement? Is Jacket thinking about a flank attack? Yeah, probably see your flag and fire out. You can see that's it. Keep it camped up. So far, no. Meanwhile, we do have an advancement here. Who is moving into the center? It is HL here. They are moving into the center position. They have strong cover from two core, then fourth New Jersey and two USC on their other side. They move to the left. Yeah, it looks like Cloud is going to displace from those rocks and move off to his left. I'm sorry, his right, Union left. And then we have a further movement here. Who is this? Is this 13 Georgia redeploying? It is. Major Cawthorn is going to redeploy his guys. Here's Angle still getting his gun in position a little bit forward. It looks like we're going to have a fight here. A and B is now very close to HL. Nice shot there by HL. Punching a bit of a hole into A and B. And Gene is going to try to take him on single-handedly. We'll see if Killer's got something for him. And he's taking shots also from 2 USC and 4th New Jersey. So he uh, he's a little bit uh, out on his own right now. And more Union is flowing up here. Who else is flowing up? Here comes 2 Core. And Killer is going to have to get out of there soon or he is going to get outflanked. 13 George are burning in some fire against 2 Core, but now that 2 Core is up here, I don't know how much longer A and B can hold. And they have taken point, and they have capped it. Still up. Still fired, you know. A and B staying strong.
And it looks like two USC. Ooh! Already shot coming in, but a little bit short there. Two USC coming up here. Are they trying to outflank A and V? They are in a nice open order formation. And with that, A and V is going to have to fall back, and the Union controls the center of the field. Although we do have 13th Georgia here guarding Mr. Engel's gun. In fact, they're going to move up. In the meantime, let's see, 6 Alabama here is fighting this first USA, USSS force, not USSA. Not, not, they're not selling insurance. They might be, I don't know. And Jackin is going to pull his men back rather than face off with Carlson. While HD is going to put in some cover. Let's see, what is 13 Georgia thinking? Ooh, there's a shot from... Oh, hell of a shot there from Mr. Angle. Making uh, Theragorn know exactly who he's facing there. And another already shot coming in, although it looks like it was a little shy here. Although, let's see, two cores sent out 6LA to uh, chase off Exorf and his cannon crew. So a nice little raid there by that element of two core. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. All right, right here, sock. And the Union already is starting to arrange in some shots here. Let's go get shot. Ready to fire angle. Landed. Another shot coming in, not doing too much damage, but still making themselves heard. Oh shit, I missed this Exorf shot. Uh, looks like it came in just shy here of Mr. Eddie. The Union is returning Arty fire. So far, the first U.S. Sharpshooters are doing a pretty good job of tying down both the HD and 6 Alabama here. And they are not able to support the fight in the center. They capped early, but um, I think that's what they needed to do to kind of stop the, uh, the clock a little bit and make up some time that they had lost. Nice shot there by HD, guys. And 6 Alabama has come to join HD. And it looks like HD is going to display. So I think is 6 Alabama going to go with him, or are they going to uh, take over this position? All right, so Jackson is going to relieve HD to allow them to help in the center. I think this is a good move here. I think Jackson, 6 Alabama, can do a good job on their own of keeping the um, Sharps busy while HD comes and helps 13th and A and B on this other side here. Let's check in with those elements. They have formed up over here. Do you think we would see if we can get 8th over here? Or Alabama? And here comes HD. They're going to open up on this side here. Meanwhile, so now you got 6AL has operated skirmish line to harass that already over there and take over these guns that were here. You got 4th New Jersey with a base of fire, and now here comes 2 USC with that open order harassing the CSA. But it looks like we have something developing here. It is a major fist here developing. Oh, they got the flag here. So now HD is going to be joined by 13 Georgia and A and V. This is most of the CSA infantry. What are they going to do with it? Are they going to go for points? Or are they going to harass the uh, sharps over there? I'm not sure. So we got A and V coming online, putting in a volley. And they are recapping. So I think this is actually working out pretty well for the CSA right now. Uh, get the cap back. Uh, get the tickets going and get the timer going again without really even having to charge in. So good awareness by the CSA. And there we go. They've retaken the points even without charging in. And you can see their tickets are now a little bit ahead of the Union here. And they still have plenty of time, but there's only 13 minutes, 32 minutes left in the match. So the Union might have to uh, continue to put the pressure on. 
Let's see who's over here to do it. It is HL and 9th Corps and 2 Corps and 2 USC. Most of the Union forces on this hill. We have a flank developing here. Okay, so HD is going to return to A6 Alabama. To be honest with you, I, I'm not sure you need it. I think 6 Alabama is doing a fine job right now of uh, keeping the uh, first USS sharpshooters and those sharps out of the fight. I don't think you need HD to uh, aid them. But uh, maybe they're thinking of trying to wipe them. The hard thing is they could just melt back into the corn and it's, it's the limit for where the CSA can advance to. So uh, it's really not too much you can do over there besides keep them bottled up. Uh, Another arty shot coming in. Uh, looks like that arty shot actually hit the A and V. Holy shit, well done, Artie. That was um, Snapperkins' crew from the HL. Okay, Eddie, though, has occupied this position up here. And is trying to get some blanket fire in, although he is a little exposed here, but he's not careful. A and V might come up here and hit him. Now two cores are going to relieve him. Okay. One minute for bayonets. Some nice shots there by two core. They are taking a lot of heat. Let's see. Fourth New Jersey is still hanging back here. Be honest, I'm not sure if they're still contributing as much as they might need to. Um, they, I think they might need those guns forward here. But two core six LA is doing a good job of charging off the arty and eliminating them from being a factor. And okay, first U.S. sharpshooters have moved off here, but that is going to free up now the six Alabama. Here's Jack, and he is going to try to outflank the Union. But here's HL. They have seen it. Are they, they going to try to intercept? And knock out the 6AL in a pincer maneuver. Let's see if John can pull it off here. Wow, the 6AL is distracted fighting with the first U.S. sharpshooters. I don't think they see him. They don't see him. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown by Lieutenant Gene. And he has fully ambushed the 6AL here. They are trying to fight back here. And Jackson actually managed to survive with a few men. But first U.S. sharpshooters are going to finish off whatever's left of this. But he's going to try to get his men out of there. Uh, well, let's see if they, uh, how, how good is the sharpshooting here? Oh, nope, he got hit. Nope, it's up to Boyer now. Oh, it's all on you, Boyer. Can you do it? No. He cannot. So a good attack there by HL. Uh, now we have a major push here by the A and B. Along with HD, the hand V knows they're going to try to retake this point. And they're going to slam into this Union force on the hill here of 9th Corps and 2 USC. And HL is here as well. And it is a melee. Here comes 13th Georgia. Let's see, where is... And it looks like that was a complete win here by the CSA team. A total win. Well, the Union got completely wiped off there. You have some elements here with Theragorn here still holding, but he is outnumbered substantially. And he is going to fall back a little bit. Does he have any reinforcements coming up? He's got a little bit in the form of the first U.S. sharpshooters. Let's see if they can come and bring up some fire to help out uh, two core here. But it looks like the CSA is advancing. They're going to try to get as far forward as they can. Killer smells blood here. He wants to wipe out the Union flags and prevent their respawns. That makes them have to take that long walk all the way back. Looks like Carlson is falling back. 
The A and B has occupied this hill. Still have Jean with a uh, few men left over. At this point, there's no real point, to be honest with you, for the Union to hold this position here. They should get those flags back further in the corn so they're not attracting all this fire from the A and B. All you're going to do is get shot and lose tickets here. There is literally no point to it. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Just taking losses here. Pull back. Don't stay here. Just good tickets right now. Reform. Try again. Let's see. First U.S. sharpshooters are trying to... Uh, Provide some support. Okay, looks like the uh, HL element got charged off here by Cloud. And he's going to get a few more nice, juicy tickets. All right, let's go. Let's go. Go back. Come on. Get loose. And I think the CSA, they didn't knock out the flag, um, but they have done the damage they want, and they are going to pull back now and reset. They are engaged with 29 minutes, so the Union's still very much uh, in this fight. But the CSA is doing a pretty good defense so far. Anybody see that artillery out there south, southwest? Do the formation, see here. Do you see that in about the cannons out there? South? Yeah, I see it. It's aiming right at us. Uh, can you take that? First you have? Alright. Let's take a look at the Yardy. We haven't seen them in a little bit. Got Let's start with Angle's gun. Looks like they're gonna try to hit those sharpshooters. The gun, she is sexy and hot. All right, Angle, this is 174 yards at negative 1.99, let me know. Uh, it was a good shot, just uh, didn't have an effect, so. You can see the Union has reoccupied this, this position here. And we still have some sharpshooters over here. Is this uh, 6LA? It is. They are still making sure XR can't get back to his gun here. But he is, I think, going to just hang out over here. Here we got Angle. 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 Eagle. All right, they are setting up their cannons here. So while that's going on, let's see if I can figure out what the Union already is targeting. It is a trip, but we shall try. Okay, looks like Snapperkins is changing batteries over here, so... Once he gets set up, I will keep an eye out for where he's uh, going for. So right now we got most of the Union line over here, although somebody's advancing. HL is advancing, although I, just as a general rule, do, do not cross in front of uh, the other formation. It would be better to go through the corn, um, if for no other reason than to avoid you know, getting shot. Um, you also want to try to conceal your movements as best you can. But it looks like HL has reoccupied this little bush. Uh, position there. Two USCs moving off to the right. And then two core and ninth core here are going to maintain their fire. But they're taking a lot of shots here. Holy shit. CSA is really laying into them. But they're getting shot too. A and B's getting hit as well. Looks like the first US sharpshooters are pinging them as well. So both these uh, sides have shown they can shoot at distance with effect. A and B is going to have to pull off. Right, now we do have 13 Georgia here who's going to pop up and try to restrain these sharpshooters here. Let's see how they do. There's Union already putting in some shots. Mr. Snapkins. Alright, 
let's see. Six Alabama. I haven't checked it on in a while. And let's see. Major Jack and Colonel Jack, Major Jack is going to try for a wide flank here. Looks like he's going to try to ambush and neutralize the uh, sharpshooters. But they are going to redeploy here to deal with them. But that does free up 13th Georgia here to target this front line here. So we will see how this develops here. If Jack can take this flank here, this is going to make the uh, Union position a lot more... Uh, Untenable. We'll see if he can. He's going to square off against one U.S. sharpshooter. Let's see how they do. All right, Jackson saw it. He saw they were ready, and he's going to pull off. But they're going to get a couple shots into his back as he does. So, so far, a good check here by the first U.S. sharpshooters. No more forward movement yet by the Union, but uh, I think they're just trying to outshoot him for a little bit and force him back here. All right, let's check back with the yard here. What is Mr. Angle shooting at? Officer, right, right here, right here. Soldier said get paid. Oh, no. right, left, leaving, enemy I'm down. Fight. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess what? We have forward movement by the Union. Two core doing some skirmishing as well. Here's HD on these rocks. Oh, crisp volley there from the A and B. Nice volley. All right, so the Union has rotated at least one unit to this far side to join the sharpshooters. It is two core. They may be thinking about pushing the uh, six LA, six LA, six Alabama, and coming up around the CSA flank. Let's see if that's what Two Corps is thinking. They've got a good base of support here from the first U.S. sharpshooters to make this move here if they want to. I heard the already. I didn't see the already. So two corps is going to stop on these rocks. Looks like they can try to get a distance volley on 6 AL. But 6 AL is in a pretty good position here. We'll see if they can hit them. But uh, this, these are not... Yeah, the sharpshooters are getting them. These are tough shots for them. So they're doing a good job of holding this flank here. We'll see if they can continue holding it against two corps once they get engaged. <laughs> eye on them. Uh, looks like the, uh, yep, that already did target the first U.S. sharpshooters and got some good effects here. And looks like there's some counter battery targeting that gun here against Mr. Angle. Right. Oh, now we've had A and B switch over to this side here, guarding this road here, and they are tangling with Fourth New Jersey, ninth corn, two USC over here. I don't even know who's our flag. Who died? It's our flag. I'll be honest with you. I think right now the CSA is actually out shooting the Union, from what I could tell. Firing. Um, Looks like there was a cancer shot there by, so the AD A and V has gotten this cannon, the X-Force has gotten this cannon back into the fight here. But if he can nail a cancer shot, he will do a lot of damage. Now let's see, 13 George has got a cannon going, what are they thinking? Uh, 
Yeah, that's just a little bit high. There's two core six LA trying to uh, deal with the HD. All right, now they're starting to actually get a little bit closer. Maybe you know, I think I was wrong. Um, I missed this fight, so six AL has been pushed back here. Why is this two core? Yes. No, it's Carlson in the lead. So this is what I was uh, hoping to see the Union do here. To push this flank here. Kind of get behind Engel and the other guns and unseat the uh, CSA defense. So a good attack here by Mr. Carlson. Let's see if we can finish off 6AL. And that has also... Double good shots. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they're judging you, Angle. You hear that? Oh. All right, so now the key is going to be can they exploit this? Two Corps now has an open flank here. Um, I'm kind of surprised they're not moving up. Yeah, yeah. And supporting these guys in this I'm, flank I'm attack. There's really the nothing left moving. over there for them to really shoot at. Yeah, they're moving. moving ever Our closer. unit is not ready for them either. Yeah, Sorry. this is not <laughs> These are some juicy tickets here that Carlson's going to be able to milk if he can get them. On a rock. So 6AL is going to have to fall back and reform here. And now we've got Carlson trying to stop this cannon. We'll see if they can do it. Do they have support moving up? Not really. I think that's the biggest problem right now. Is there's some openings? Just the union's not really exploiting them. All right, here comes. All right, there we go. Now two cores starting to move out here. John is all the way in the woods there. I, don't, I guess he's waiting for the rest of. Oh, he's waiting for the rest of his union to come in. That's what he's doing. All right, but yeah. So now this is what I like to see. So two cores now moving up here. The key is though, you got to keep in mind your timing. So six AL there is also reforming here. So, you can't take too long with these moves. Once you see an opening, you gotta kind of take it. Because you might have gotten one tactical success, but uh, that's, that might be it. All right, so while this is going on, Killer is gonna move forward. I think he, you know, he sees his weakening at this point. He's gonna come to a more forward position and chase off the Union. Now, if the two USC can hold down A and B for a bit, and we get two core moving, the Union might be able to uh, hold them here. Let's see, what yeah, is... We're gonna, we're gonna push up by the you RD. <laughs> yeah, you see, these guys aren't even really pumping it, you know, looking at that fight right now. But, oh, okay, here's Jack, and he's back in the fight. So, that window is now closing, because Jack and came and closed it. And the CSA is now at taking losses with 17 minutes remaining. The Union is getting closer and closer with this uh, maneuver here. They're evening out the fight here. Now the CSA is maneuvering. Who is this? It is Major Cawthon here. He's going to try to support 6AL with a flank attack. Let's see how he does. Let's have the Union in a bit of a box now. Yeah, see, without these, this rock position here, being forced back here is not as ideal. It is definitely hard to maintain it without having that strong point back here to kind of anchor off of. All right, so looks like Killer's going to redeploy. Uh, Cloud is maintaining that center position here. It looks like the Union is going to pull back again, or at least redeploy. Pick up on Snapperkin, see what he is thinking about killing. Not a 
Good idea. I don't know if anything was still there or not. I can see exactly where we were. I was going to go by that line. Right at the same time. They're like, okay, fire. I got one shot off of this. Uh, Snapperkin's already getting closer to 13th Georgia. Looks like uh, Angle's gonna try to get his gun into the fight, though. It looks like the Union's gonna have to hightail it out of there. At least part of it. Sharpshooter's now taking a lot of heat. It's going to be hard for them to hang out here with all that fire coming in without additional support. But who's coming in? Okay, two course thinking about coming in. Let's see if they can give some relief here to the sharpshooters. We've tried. He always finds a way And he is continuing that leftward movement, but now... First U.S. sharpshooters have been pushed back. So now with all those elements pushed back, two cores going to have to face that element by itself here. They're going in a little bit too haphazard yeah, right now. That is uh, going to prove some difficulties. So you got JD out here with kind of a little trip force uh, delaying the two core. Meanwhile, I got 6 AL on this strong point right here, anchoring the uh, CSA flank. Once you get your load, <laughs> actually, Rich will break that out. and go to the left a little bit. They're charging 6 Alabama out. Are they? You stay on target. Are they? Are they? I, I mean, I guess. I, I wouldn't call this charging him out, but, yeah, you know, I think it's more just repositioning. Alright, so while sick while two core is maneuvering down that way, let's see what's going on over here. We got HL setting up along with 4th New Jersey and 2 USC. Angling with the HD over there. And looks like Eddie's got his cab on the move. Hold fire, hold fire. John, I swear to God, if you shoot one of us. That is more than just HD. Is that A and B with them? It is A and B with them. In the meantime, so now you see 6AL Jack has moved his guys up here, and two cores bottled up. And they are not able to advance. Ooh, already coming in against the first U.S. sharpshooters. Might have gotten one or two, but still kind of keeping them on their toes a bit. Mr. Angle and his gun. Check and see how the A and V gun is doing. There you The snapper can's making HD kind of pucker up a little bit. Well, yep, now you can see 6AL has managed to push back two cores. So well done on that defense there, supported by 13th Georgia. And the Union is running out of time here to figure out an angle. Only 12 minutes left in the match, and the CSA have plenty of tickets remaining. Go 
just stand like three or four yards. Alright, guys. On Still me. in formation. Looks like HL is now going to push forward. Are they going to join with two USC up here? Retail. It's going to be very tough to beat this HD uh, A and B combo that they've got set up. Attacking straight in, I'm not going to lie. That is going to be hard to beat. Uh, so Carlson's going to move up here. Um, I do like this CSA defense. It is pretty solid. Maybe the uh, right side is the only weakness, but the Union is not uh, moving along that right side. See if they can punch through here. Maybe if we make a lot of noise, I think we're more than what we actually are on the run. Yeah, it's explosive. South, southeast. Too big to report. We are counting. So the Union is capping at the moment. I'm not sure if that's their intent or not. Um, to be honest with you, I don't see why not at this point. I don't think you're going to get them to eight minutes down to breaking as it stands right now. Is there another maneuver developing? Looks like HL and 2 core are forming up here in a pretty strong position here. Okay, HL is going to move out to 2 USC. Yeah, this line here is going to be very tough to beat. Bear wall, boy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, hit the front left of the road. Yeah, rather the left of the road. Uh, try to get up there. Try to stay in the line. Are we allowed to just kill it? All right, we got a maneuver here going on here. It is Eddie and Gene in the lead. Now here comes the ambush. It's going to happen with and V here. Oh! And the immediate counterattack. It's going to take a lot of effort to beat this. All right, two core went in as well. But it was not quite enough. They're going to need a little bit more combat power to pull off a maneuver like that against Han V. Yeah, you can't do it with that. You're going to need a lot more combat power. So that knockdown by HD, A, and V is really crippling. So now you got the flags back here. How many flags are in the dirt? Uh, just one, but uh, seeing as that's half, you know, a third of the Union line here, a little bit more than that, uh, there's only, keep in mind, there's only three companies, and one of them's the Sharps. That really delays your respawn rates. So you lose a flag on this map, it is devastating. It's like... Six LA is going to chase off the A and V gun crew. Solid defense by the CSA. Union's going to have to figure out if something else here, and they don't have much time left. In fact, honestly, they've got time for one play. That's about it. And the CSA is not really giving them too many openings here. 
No, I've been focusing on those guys, but you got Jack in here tying it down, anything over there, and you still got 13th in reserve, who's not even really committed right now. No balance. Dead even. Oh, you know, slight CSA imbalance, you know. I can't really uh, tell how many of them there are. Let's check in on Snapper Kin, see what he's shooting at. Oh, I just missed it. Dang it! They've been doing some pretty dang good shots this whole game. It's not easy on Union Artie for this one, especially without a forward observer and uh, comms. Same, same place we aimed. Slightly to the left of the previous same area we aimed. Okay, so Charlie, a big ass fucking line over there. Yeah, hey, you can see. Maybe this is how long it takes for the Union to get back when they don't have that flag. It's to the left of the down flag marker. Try this shit. I would say like maybe two ticks to the left of something. it. Let me back up a second, guys. Six fifty-seven. Sending. That sounds like. Made him pucker. Ah, so 6LA has actually gotten all the way back here. Again, they're doing a pretty good job of keeping these guns uh, silent and uh, forming some pretty good tickets while they're doing it. Let's see, over here we have had, who's this? Is this disruptions have moved up over here? Putting pressure on 13th Georgia and 6AL. If they could tie down these two units and mass up the rest of the force here, they may be able to succeed and overwhelm that hand V. But it's going to take, uh, I don't know how long Carlson and his guys can keep these two units busy. That is a hell of a prospect. It's like the Union starting to stage. They've only got 2.30 min two minutes and 30 left. But this really is do or die time for the Union. They are close enough on tickets that they might be able to do it with this final charge here. But first U.S. sharpshooters have to restrain the CSA. So this is a problem right now. Oh, oh that's just angle. Okay. But if six, yeah, if any of these two units move off, that's a problem. These guys really have to put pressure on these guys here. And here comes the charge, though. Let's catch into it just as I'm missing it. HL coming in. Everybody coming in. This is what we needed. This is what the... Uh, see if the uh, Union team can knock out the hand V. Uh, you guys got to get in the fight, too. I'll be honest with you. you. need to overwhelm. This is the key decisive point here. If you can beat hand V, you win. They're on breaking. Can you defeat hand V? And can you delay these guys? These guys really got to put pressure on them. They have to intercept these units here. Don't go towards point. You, Carlson, you need to intercept these guys. Off a of point. All right, we'll see if Carlson can hold them. It's up to him now. He's got to try to hold off two units here. And he is doing his damnedest. You have time for the rest of the Union to get reorganized. And he gave it the best he could. But it is not quite enough. There is not. Is there enough Union left? Oh, Union, you have to support that. 
you have to go support them, not hang out back here getting your reloads. You need to go and make sure this holds. Join Mr. Two, Mr. Third going up here. You've got to wipe out, wipe out this element here. Independent fire, knock him back here. Can they do it? Snapperkin's coming up with his pistol. Can he make the difference? Why is the officer going in by himself? Why aren't you guys going with him? You let that poor officer die all by yourself. Can they shoot him out? They're doing it. The problem is these guys are coming in. They might come in just in time to overwhelm this. This took too long to wipe this out. And I think the CSA will be able to overwhelm them. We'll see. 13th Georgia coming in. It is down to the wire. But I we'll see. Where's the rest of the Union? Too far away to help now. And the CSA was able to get reinforcements in down in time. It took too long to wipe out that element here. Keep in mind, it's not just about the enemy you see. It's about the enemy that's coming in. And because they took too long to wipe that element out, they were not able to clinch it. Although that was a good, very good final attack there by the Union. Um, good distraction by the first U.S. sharpshooters and a good attack there by the rest of the elements. And then, you know, a good delay there by the first U.S. sharpshooters trying to tie him down. But um, didn't quite succeed, but very close. So good first match. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got one more. And that'll be it for this week.